Hello friends, in this video we synthesize adipic acid by the oxidation of cyclohexanol. Adipic acid or hexane dioic acid is one of the most important dicarboxylic acid which is used mainly as a precursor of nylon. It is conveniently prepared by the oxidation of cyclohexanol. Materials required for this preparation includes 13 grams of cyclohexanol, 40 milliliters of 67% nitric acid and around 0.05 grams of ammonium metavanadate as a catalyst. This is the whole setup of the reaction. A 3 neck small 100 milliliter flask is fixed on a stand. On the center neck was attached a reflex condenser and on one of the neck was attached a dropping funnel. The other neck was closed with a glass stopper. Start by adding 40 milliliters of 67% nitric acid to the flask. My nitric acid was slightly yellow in color. Ideally pure nitric acid is colorless. Into the dropping funnel attached on the side add 13 grams of cyclohexanol. Cyclohexanol can also be used instead of the alcohol. Less than 0.5 grams of ammonium metavanadate was then added into the flask. It acts as a catalyst and improves the rate of reaction without the need of maintaining a constant increased temperature. The knob of the dropping funnel was then slowly opened and you can see that the cyclohexanol is sliding slowly over the sides of the flask. Immediately upon touching the concentrated nitric acid, there is a reaction with formation of brown colored nitrogen dioxide gas. What is happening here is the oxidation of cyclohexanol. Nitric acid is the oxidizing agent. And I'll provide a picture of the reaction mechanism for those who are interested. You can see that a lot of nitrogen dioxide gas is produced in the reaction even after adding cyclohexanol very slowly dropwise. Do not allow the pressure to build up in the whole setup. Also do not add the cyclohexanol all at once but add it slowly dropwise and mix around very well and let each drop react completely before adding the next drop. Once cyclohexanol is added completely, the dropping funnel was removed and that opening is also closed with a glass stopper. The contents of the flask was then reflexed for 15 minutes. After the reflex, most of the nitrogen dioxide is released and the contents of the flask is poured into a beaker and allowed to cool to room temperature. The white crystals of adipic acid separates out. Now this can be directly filtered using a sintered glass filter. Otherwise, just as I did, first dilute the solution by adding some cold distilled water. This will dilute the acid, thereby making the filter paper not corroded by the acid. After diluting with some water, we can do a simple filtration with a normal filter paper. As the concentration of acid is reduced, it will not corrode the filter paper. The crystals were then dried on a tissue paper and this is the crude crystals of adipic acid. Now that we have the crude crystals, we will go on with recrystallization. Recrystallization was carried out with hot ethanol. On cooling, needle shaped crystals of adipic acid separated out. These crystals were then scraped off from the bottom of the beaker and was then dried on a tissue paper. This is the final yield of adipic acid. The final yield was about 9.01 gram which represents 92% yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description. Thank you.